Alright, what's going on guys? This is Crisis, and this is going to be the first video of the day, and um, it's going to be a free-for-all trickshotting on private match on Call of Duty Ghost. Ooh, now there's a special game, which many of you don't like, which I don't get why, but you don't, but whatever, you know, I'm just going to play free-for-all. I doubt I'm gonna hit, I don't think I'm gonna hit a shot, cause you know, but you know, I'll try. Well, no, I'll try, you know, I'll try. I'll try for the viewers and for the fans. Oh, shoot. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Good class, hit a shot, and you know, make a happy video. Oh my god. I don't know why I went for that, to be honest. Like, I know they're not gonna hit yet. I still go for them. Like, what is wrong with them, you know? What? There should have been a no scope right there. At least. Jesus, this mic is kind of annoying sometimes, but whatever. Um, yeah, like I said before, it's a, uh, it's the Guitar Hero mic. And no, it's not exactly the best. I mean, it's pretty good, but like, you have to be kind of like close to it for it to pick up good, uh, like, uh, a good audio. So you know, and I can't play and hold it like with my hand up here, you know, because that's kind of like, <laughs> I can't play with one hand, so. You know. That's why I have to kind of put it down on my desk and then like play with it from there. Could get closer to like TV, but you know. Ugh. It's not exactly comfortable. Cause I gotta go, I gotta move my whole computer which is on the floor and stuff like that. I mean, I don't mind, but you know. So what I usually do is I just put it in top of boxes. Like, right, like I put it in top of like my uh, game case boxes or whatever, or game cases. Um, Oh shit. You know, doing this actually cut. Um, like killing dogs and ghosts is kind of like. I feel really bad doing it because the other day I saw a video on Facebook where this, uh, this guy was recording these cops because I think they were in investigating like a crime scene and I think the bad guy was like. like um, locked up in the house and they were trying to get. they were trying to get him to get out and he was like a robber or something like that. Or he had just killed someone or something. Well, anyway, I don't remember why, but he had, like, killed someone or whatever. It was, like, a crime scene. And the cops were outside and, you know, doing their stuff and investigating and waiting for backup or whatever. And this guy came and, like, you know, um, like, you know, people, like, were out of their homes, out into the neighborhood recording them, you know. But this guy that was, like, like especially close to them, he was, like, on the same block of them, block of them, you know. He was like, um, I guess you could say up in their space. I mean, he wasn't like up in their space, you know, like four feet away. He was like on the same block, but at, they were like somewhere like close to the other end. And he was like all the way on the other end. They were like in the middle or whatever. And he was like all the way in the end. It wasn't that far, but it was like maybe like anywhere from like 15 to like 20 feet away. Or maybe a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure, but... Um, and he, he had a dog out, like, he was walking the dog, I'm guessing, and he, he stopped and he recorded him, and I think he even said, why aren't they any black, black cops? And keep, I, um, I mean, when I watched the video, I didn't hear him, but then I watched, like, the, uh, I rewatched the video, like, on the news, not on the news, but, like, on YouTube or whatever, and they reviewed the video or whatever, and they said that, um, he said that, uh, he asked the cops, how come there, there aren't any black cops? Or why aren't they any black cops? And then, you know, I'm guessing they got annoyed at him or whatever. And, you know, they, uh, they arrested him. But, um, since he was walking his dog, he put the, his dog, I think it was like a pit bull or something, or like a Rottweiler or something. And, you know, they're usually a bit, like, well, like, 
they're a little bit more vicious sometimes but you know the dog didn't seem vicious but you know like any dog if something like if they see their their owner getting like hit or like they see that their owner is like in danger or whatever they don't protect them you know they'll jump on a person or they they'll bark you know and the the owner put his dog in the in his van in his tr truck or whatever van um and um he uh, he went to the cops and you know he turned around so he can get arrested because he knew he was probably gonna get arrested um because he was probably getting annoyed and then the dog would kept barking and stuff like that and then the vin the windows of the, of the guy's car they were rolled down and um the dog kept barking and he he eventually got out jumped out the window of the car and then like ran up to the cops and he was barking on them and like you know they, they kind of like pushed the um uh, the owner forward to see if they can uh, if he can calm down his dog and it kind of it was working for like a brief like couple seconds but the cop like this other cop like butted in and like decided to like calm it down and like grab the leash so he can like put it back in the truck or whatever but since like you know a dog like um um what do you call it like they protect the owner so like you know that's what they do and like they, i guess they should have like um, told the guy and like, you know, grab the, uh, grab your dog or whatever, like, and, like, like, you can tell, like, he was, the guy wasn't really a threat to the cops, so, like, I, I, I mean, like, if I was a cop in that position, and I see that the guy isn't a threat, then I'll be like, you know, grab your dog and, like, you know, well, I'll, um, cuff you, and, you know, grab your dog, put him back in the car, and it's like, you know, I'll make sure that there's, like, two cops with me right there at the moment, so, you know, and there were, there was, like, Two or three cops after with like with the guy, so I'll be like, you know, uncuff him and like, you know, um, and uh, uncuff him and you know, put your dog in and then you know, we'll proceed. But um, he tried to grab him and the dog was like mad, vicious or whatever. And you know, he only there are some dogs that only respond to their owners and um, he kind of jumped at the cop and the cop like the cop like pulled back and he tried try to grab his leash and like um. He jumped at him like right in his face, and he the, the cop pulled the, pulled out a gun and he shot the dog like, um, like in this. He just shot like on the floor where the dog was in the area. I think he, he missed a couple bullets because you can see some of the bullets like hit the ground. But um, some of them like I think he hit him like in the leg or because like um he hit him like somewhere maybe in the chest and the somewhere in the midsection and I think maybe in the leg because after he shot him. The dog kind of like started like limping a little bit well not a little bit he started limping a lot and he's like like crying and like just like um like he after he sh he like after he jumped back and the, the cop shot him he like he like jumped back and he started getting like he was hurt you know because he was shot so he started like um uh like like how do you say like um um like whirling around or whatever i don't know how to, how like a worm he saw like you know moving around and squiggling and stuff like that like on the floor and then he like got on his back and he was just like shaking his legs and like moving like you know like like a dog would when they hurt when they're hurt and um you know it actually kind of made me sad because like i i love dogs to be honest i actually really do love dogs and you know it's it pains me when like they get hurt or they get like well, yeah when they're like when they get hurt so you know i was actually kind of mad but then like at the same time i i was like understanding because like what would i've done if i was a cop right there you know i don't want to get my hand torn off by a dog like i probably wouldn't shoot the dog because I'll, I'll be maybe a little bit smarter and like know that if i get close once and the dog jumps after me jumps up at me and and I, the first time i fail and i can't grab the dog's leash then I'm not gonna try again, and like knowing that there's a possibility that I'm gonna get my hand bitten off, so I just wouldn't even try to go for it anymore. I'll just like you know, we'll put, we'll I'll either ignore the dog, you know, just, and walk away, or I'll just like you know, like I said before, they, um, not even like on cuff the guy, but like sometimes maybe even like um, call like a like a animal support or whatever, someone who knows about dogs and like, or, like. Put the guy in a shelter, or I mean, the dog in a shelter, or like you know, um, or like you know, like um, put the the dog back in the guy's house, you know, after the guy's arrested or whatever, you know.
Or like, I don't know, let's see, um, what would I do, let's see. Dog's trying to jump up on me, bite my arm off. I would probably go with, um, try to like, um, calm down, down, maybe just wait a while, maybe dog eventually will calm down. You know, and then like try to pet him and then bring him back into the car. Like the, the guy's car, like put him back in the, in the truck. Or if that was, that's not working, um, maybe I'll like, you know, maybe just like release the guy and let the guy like, you know, put, put his dog back in, you know, back in the truck or whatever. Or just call like, um, like a, an expert on dogs or whatever. So like the people who like. Like, um, put dogs in animal shelters. Or, you know, something like that, or, you know. But I, if I see that, you know, if I try to grab a leech and jump, jump step at me, you know. I wouldn't, like, keep trying to, like, you know, grab the leash and maybe, like, get the chance that my arm's gonna be, um, uh, pitting off. So, you know, I would just, like, you know, just wouldn't go for it anymore, you know. Because I don't want to shoot a dog. I really don't, you know. And this is like a complete vicious dog that has no no um no sympathy for anything and just like wants to kill everyone. Then I mean I probably wouldn't shoot it, but I find another way to put it down. And I can't believe I just killed last, but whatever. I'll find a way to like put him down. But I'll have to shoot. The, what I'll have maybe I'll sleep him, and then like you know try to like calm him down, teach him a way to be calm or whatever, or like put him give him up to a professional who knows how to calm down dogs. But I wouldn't shoot him, and you know, it kind of makes me sad that it did happen, cause like you know, it's like some like there are some people out there who are just like cruel, who don't like don't really care, and they'll shoot dogs or animals, and you know, it's sad, you know, but you know, it's the world, and you know, we just gotta live with it. That's why, like, when I grow up, like, well, when I get older, I, I want to buy dogs and like take care of them, whatever. Not like a whole bunch of dogs, but like you know, um, you know. I want to have a good, like, three to four dogs, so, and take care of them, you know, so, you know, um, anyway, that's the end of this video, I guess, I mean, I just talked about dogs, and killing dogs, and cops shooting dogs, and it's not the first, because it's not the first time that it happened, you know, that's not the only event, I saw another video where this cop went to the, the backyard of this guy's house, and he killed the, he killed the dog, it's sad, it sucks, it sucks that, you know, some animals died, because, like, uh, people are just, like, selfish and, like, think it's okay to kill the dog. But, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, what are you going to do, buddy? But, anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. I know I was about to uh, trick shot, but this video went on for 13 minutes. And I, uh, I don't like, I mean, I don't mind making the long videos longer. But, I, sometimes I, it takes longer for me to process them and then upload them and render them. So, you know, I just want to make sure I get the upload on time. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. Um, it's crazy because like I feel like I'm getting better at this, you know. I was just like playing game and then I kill a dog and it just remind me, reminded me of the the, the video I saw and it kind of made me like, oh no, I should talk about this at the moment, you know. And um, it was pretty cool, you know. I had a lot of fun, and um, yeah, it's been crisis and I'm out, guys. Peace.